Hello, what up guys? How are you doing, mates? It is Sunday. It's a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory Black Friday promo fully in swing, which we love to see. It's actually a pretty pretty big amount of content that we've got to deal with. There is stuff absolutely everywhere on the game right now, which I have to say I'm quite a big fan of. It's something that's certainly been lacking lately, so... Um, Big dub. Uh, I hope you guys are all well on, on this fine Sunday morning, um, or afternoon, should I say. Uh, do me a huge favour. We know Sundays are always like the most liked episode because, well, there's a reason for that. I can give you a double upload. I can give you another video later on tonight if you can hit, and this is as low as I'm going to go all year, 4,000 likes, all right, on this episode by 7 p.m., at 8 p.m., you'll see a new video, all right? 4K likes. It's so easy to do. I'm sure you can get it done. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So, this team right here is currently 2-2 two and two, uh, in the Weekend League. Going to get six more games done today, but... There are some SBCs that I want to get done as well. So uh, there was this one from the UCL the other night that was just about to expire. So I thought I'll, I'll get that one done. It's for a jumbo premium gold players, which is effectively a 50k pack. So I thought I even spent 10k doing it because I, I thought I'm, I'm going to get myself a 50k pack. Hopefully it's good. And with the Black Friday players, like the signature set or whatever they're called. <laughs> I can't remember what they call them. Um... With those players being out, I thought, hey, everything's a go. We can just open up these packs galore as and when we get them, rather than having to wait and save them up and all of that stuff, which I hate doing, as you know. Uh, so, unfortunately for me, I just get Coates. That is unfortunate, because was the lowest rated player I was supposed to get there an 83? I think it was. And if so, that is an L. Big, big L, because it cost me 10k, and it was untradeable, so I needed something good in there to make it worthwhile. Um, and then marquee matchups, finally got time and, well, finally got the players as well in my club to get this one done. Um, not bad, considering, like, well, the requirements themselves. Some weeks, they're like, you can only have one player from each league, but you must have a minimum of seven players from the, the same club and nation, and they all are left footed and like some some weeks you get it it's a little bit exaggerated but the requirements are a little bit difficult but this week it was pretty much just plonk a load of players in there from the same league make sure you got the clubs covered and the rating didn't really matter they weren't particularly high and overall we can get a mega pack from it and i think uh i can't remember prime prime electrum maybe something like that uh but yeah, it's, it's all good stuff that we could potentially get something good from so we'll start with a mixed players pack <clears throat> not a particularly great one in all honesty you know there's there's not many rare players in in what is known as just the mixed pack i think it's just a one rare player yes correct and uh it's, it's just not great the one thing i am liking though is that i haven't really checked the amount of like packs that I've opened which have got like silver players in, so mixed and electrum packs. There's quite a few of them that get opened here, there from marquee matchups and just everywhere. Uh, whereby I'm probably starting to get some of the players for like the league SBCs together. Like right here, I get Nat Phillips, um, which I could sell for 3k maybe if I wanted to, maybe a little bit less. Or I could just save him up and then use him for the Prem SBC and get some more packs during Black Friday Black Friday promo. I can't... Black Friday. Friday. I keep putting Fly Day. That's, that's not a thing. Um, so anyway, yeah, I could I could hopefully get stuck in because I'm seeing quite a bit on Twitter, you know, of, of people, especially like Nep. Nep's been... Nep does his first owner, Road to Glory, of course. He kills it every year. Um, and... Uh, now this year, the, the, the league SBCs, they're, they're completely different. And apparently, they're very good and grindable. So, I think I maybe need to get on that. Even if it does cost me quite a bit of the coin balance that I've got right now to get it going that first time. Normally, you end up packing a big player every now and again. And that is, of course, what ends up profiting for you. Um, and Or we could use them in the team. There is also that new Benzema, uh, who has pace and... Do you remember in yesterday's episode, I was mentioning about how Benzema was one of the best strikers I've had on this game. He's insanely good. Um, and now there's a fast version of him. A flashback Benzema to like the 09-10 season. Now I'm thinking I might put my Benzema, the 91 rated one, who's only got 79 pace, into the SBC for the lower rated Benzema. Full send it and then just go for it. 
I think that sounds like a good idea to me. Like, if you didn't know FIFA and you heard that, why would you put a 91-rated Benzema into an 86-rated Benzema? But um, apparently, he's got better work rates. Of course, his four-star, four-star, and then has a lot of pace. And I think with the right chem style, could be a legitimately a monster. Um that is super, super meta on this game. So I'm pretty interested uh, and I will ha take a look at it in like tomorrow's episode or sorry, I should say tonight's second episode uh, because I trust that you'll hit the like target. Um, but yeah, like that that right there is, is potentially going to be a pretty cool card. Um, and then, I mean, there's some other cool players. Obviously, Atal got a signature series card or whatever you call them. Um, we all know how much I love Atal. I use the red one in my, my current team. So maybe I'll just go out and spend money and get him, or hopefully, even better, to pack him. That would be brilliant, because a first owner Atal is uh, is the best version of an Atal. We love that. Uh, yeah, so he's got a, a, an upgraded card once again. He's now, it's like an 85 rated card or an 86 rated card. It's pretty sweet. Um, and genuinely, a lot of the players are pretty meta. Uh, so there's the Renato Sanchez, there's the Ben Yedda, there's all of that type of stuff. There's obviously the De Bruyne, which I would love, uh, especially owning Foden and Mar is that would be a great triangle of Man City strong links. That would be actually perfect. So if we can maybe just manifest uh, a, a Kevin De Bruyne signature cards in into my club, that would be fantastic. Please, I would love it. You see that little triangle there with like the the strong links that this guy was doing. I could do that, but with the Man City players, that'd be great. Um, anyway, uh, I lost. I don't know if you witnessed that. I was trying to talk over it so that you didn't really notice. But uh, I lost to a full Inter team. Um, the guy was a bit of a... He was a bit cracked on the game, if I'm honest. And I, I didn't feel like I deserved to lose. But I just... At the same time, like you come up against a squad like that. It absolutely terrifies you. Because, like, why would someone downgrade their team in order to, like, get a squad together that is, like, a full Inter squad or something? It's only to test themselves, right? And to try and have fun. But... That, that that just means that they're going to be good I uh, pretty much all of the time. Uh, I hate coming up against teams like that for sure. So I'm 2-0 up in the next game though. Um, what I think you'll notice about today's episode is it's pretty much like win one, lose one, win one, lose one. There isn't, there's not a moment here where I really like surge into a good run. Um, and I don't know if that's just... Again, these games were from Friday, so I don't know if 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 that was just a case of I was playing against the sweats or what. But it wasn't it wasn't easy. Um, I mean, it, that made it look easy there to get a three 0 win. But even that guy had quite a lot of opportunities, uh, and pro I probably should have conceded right into the next one. So we won that one. We're most likely going to lose this one. This guy's got Banza up front, who. I've decided is a very good player on this game. I'm hoping Benzema is going to be a bit like him, you know, but with. Um, Slightly easier links, of course. That would be lovely because, uh, yeah, that, the Real Madrid link. I'd, I'd love the inform Vinicius, but uh, he was down at like 180k with the best of team of the week being out. And then Benzema came out and he rose like 100k. I'm pretty sure he's like 270 now, which, yeah, I can't even afford that. I don't actually have enough coins, which kind of sucks. So we could have made a lot of money if we'd have just bought Vinicius. It would have helped, obviously, knowing ahead of time that Benzema was getting a card or something. But, uh, well, apparently the, the leakers are all over TikTok, is it? I don't know. I don't really watch TikToks, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm 31 years old. <laughs> I might be a little bit old for that. Um, but uh, it's what the cool kids do nowadays, apparently. But, uh, yeah, apparently the, the TikTok FIFA side of things is quite crazy. Like, There's a lot of market manipulation happening from that. And uh, a lot of the leaks get posted on there. So I personally really hate the leaks. I, I, I prefer to build the hype by seeing something come out at six o'clock or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I can, you can see why if you'd have known there was a Benzema SBC, you could get that, that Vinicius before uh, he shot up 100k. It would be beneficial, of course. Uh, I do end up losing this game. Of course, because I won the one before it, so obviously. Uh, and I think with, I think with three and three maybe right now, and we come up against this guy. Uh, nice team, pretty meta, if I'm honest. Like it's just kind of generic, I guess. Clearly done a hero SBC. Clearly got this, that, and the other. Um, and Openda finally after 32 minutes, I I had to slow this game down a bit. I was like, what's not going right here? Um, and eventually, I held the ball quite well. I got that finesse shot opportunity, took it, and scored. 
one thing I'm noticing in today's video though is that I'm not hitting many green times. Um, so there's that, you know, part, part of me must have been rusty or half asleep or something. Maybe the caffeine hadn't kicked in from my coffee. Um, but yeah, I mean, that goal right there. What's going on with the keeper? What's he doing? Uh, and at 2-0, they quit. So uh, GG's to that one. But yeah, we, we lost the last one. So of course we were going to win this one. Um, and we're now four... Four and three, four and four. What are we? Oh, we're four and four, aren't we? Yeah, we're four and four. God, that is a, it's a, it's a slow start to the weekend after eight games, only having four wins. But this is kind of a little bit more like what I was expecting the weekend league to be like this year. Uh, I've there's been a couple of weeks where I end up going like six and one in a row, or, or like you know having a good old streak. But actually, I didn't really think it was going to be like that knowing that the people that are in the weekend league have got enough rivals points have actually won the qualifiers uh it should be the creme de la creme the upper echelon cream of the crop type players uh, on this game um but it doesn't necessarily always seem to be the case however the more weeks we go into this it does seem to be getting sweatier as i think some of the casuals just drop off due to the lack of content over the last few weeks maybe now they'll start to come back a little bit because black friday stuff does look very good um and uh i'm impressed so far anyway so hopefully that continues throughout the week uh and maybe boosts us right up into a good a good content year for the, the, the for the rest of uh 2021 and into 2022 um so I rage quit that game. I was 3-1 down. I was getting really annoyed at the game, actually. I, I was annoyed that I couldn't get myself on a streak. Um, and I just kept winning, losing, winning, losing. And unfortunately, the streak's going to get broken here because we lost the last one. So we should win this one. But I face up against someone with an absolute mega team. You know, the Mbappe, the Neymar, all of that stuff. Uh, and I just get slaughtered. Absolutely battered. So, yeah, I'd fully lost my head at this point. Uh if you were if you were watching me at the time, um, you can't. I'm not streaming yet. Sorry. Um, we'll get onto that another time. But uh, yeah, the if you were in the a fly on the wall watching me play these games, I was not a happy boy. Um, and that's a side of me that you guys don't normally see, which I think is probably why quite a lot of you want me to start streaming. We'll get there. Don't you worry. We'll get there. <laughs> but anyway, after my first ten games, I'm four and six. So I need to match that if I want to get the eight wins. I need to go <laughs> eight and two uh, if I want to get the 12 wins, which is obviously not going to happen. But of course, that does give me the the happiness in my head so that I only need to get four more wins and not push to 12 and just get the rewards and get the hell out of there. Um, so I, that is exactly what I'll be doing. Uh, but time for my prime gaming pack. Now, I had purposely left this one and not claimed it on on Twitch because uh, I, I didn't want to open it before the promo started. But then I, I managed to go ahead and get it. Actually packed Jamie Vardy from the pack, which is uh, not bad. Uh, there's going to be a lone Ronaldo in here, so don't get too excited when you see CR7. Um, yeah, there's a lone Ronaldo. I also get Fernandinho as Piliqueta and... I get a signature card. We get Raul Jimenez. Uh, of course, the first time I've seen that card design. And then there's two player picks as well. Oh, unfortunately, just 82s there. Uh, I'll take the goalkeeper because goalies seem to be expensive right now. Don't really know why. And then the second one, we get an inform. We get 86 rated inform Felipe. Hey, that's pretty good as well. Um, so, yeah. If you've got Twitch Prime Gaming, if you've got an Amazon Prime or whatever, well worth having a go at that pack. We get 386s, two of them special. And that is my first, that, that Raul Jimenez, I probably end up using him in the Benzema SBC because that will save me like 50k because they shot up in value uh, because of because of him. Yeah, you, the, one of the signature cards is required for the Benzema SBC. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously it's gone completely downhill. We were two and two. We've only won two more matches today, but we've lost four more. Four and six. I think team changes will be coming in tonight's video. Like I said, I am interested in Benzema. I think that might be uh, the way to go or a way to go. Um, so I'll look into it. I'll see what I can make work and obviously try and get it so that the the squad is all in there. But I can also may maybe some of the area of easy players come out. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Something's not quite clicking. I just don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, that is going to be the end of the episode for today's video. I mean, today's first video. Do me that huge favor. 
smash the thumbs up button. 5,000 likes, that's what I'd absolutely love to see from you lot. Uh, and if you can make that happen, like I said, a second video will be there for you tonight. And actually, I said 4,000 likes, so I'm going to have to go with that. 4,000 likes is uh, is what you need in order to get the double upload. Um, subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. I thank you for that. I'm going to get back stuck into the weekend league or maybe some more Flash SBCs or something. And I'll catch you later. Peace.